59. If 0 0.1718 liters of a 0 0.3556 molar solution of C387OH, a solution is diluted to a concentration of 0 0.1222 molarity, what is the volume of the resulting solution? Okay. So the first thing is, is that I see that we have the word diluted here. When we're doing a dilution, it's basically only going to be one formula. And that's the formula right here. It's M1V1 equals M2V2. It's the molarity times the corresponding volume, so this is a pair, equals the molarity times its corresponding volume. These are a pair. Now remember, when you're diluting something, the moles of the solution never changes. And since molarity times a liter or a volume is always equal to the moles, this is just showing you that the moles before and after the dilution are the same. That's the only thing that is constant in a dilution. The molarity can change, the volumes can change, because you're adding water, but the moles cannot change. So that's why this formula is set up like this. Now we just have to find the pairs. Finding the pairs is easy. All you have to basically spot out is a group that the numbers are close together, but more importantly, they usually will say a volume of a molarity. If you spot out this trend and you specifically see that of a with the volume and the molarity, these are pairs. So I already found out one pair. So that means that the other values are the other pair. It doesn't matter which side you write the pairs on. I don't care if this pair is on the left or the right side, your answer is going to be the same. So let's start off. I know this side, right? So let's see, the molarity would be 0 0.3556 molarity. And the corresponding volume is the 0 0.1718, and that's liters. Okay, now we just have to find out what the other pair is. Well, let's see. This is being diluted to a concentration of 0.1222 molarity. So that's this guy, right? So this number is 0 0.1222 molarity. And they're actually asking for what is the volume of the resulting solution of this concentration? So we're solving for V2, X, right? When we don't know, 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 know something, we label it as X, or you could put V, doesn't matter. Just, you know, it's just got to be a variable. So let's set this up. It would be 0 0.3556, that's the M1, times 0 0.1718. That's V1, and maybe I will put this on this side. And this all equals M2V2. We know what the M is, and now we just have to solve for V, which is X. If we want to solve for X, all we have to do is get X by itself. All I got to do is I got to divide by 0 0.1222 on both sides. That cancels out. And now we just do the math, right? 0 0.3556 times 0 0.1718. 0 0.3556 times 0 0.1718. And then just divide that by 0 0.1222. If we're playing the sig fig game here, the lowest number of sig figs between these three numbers is four sig figs. So my answer should have four sig figs. So this is 0 0.4. 999. And now the units, X was a volume, right? Oops. X was a volume, right? So it matches the unit in which you had the volume before. In this case, the volume was liters. So I know that this has to be a liter value. So my volume for the solution is almost 0.5 of a liter, right? So 0.4999 uh, liters or 499.9 .9 milliliters if you wanted to convert it. But that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, I love seeing, you know, that we can help you guys. And if we do help you, you know, tell your friends, tell your classmates, maybe they can, you know, get help from this service as well. Thank you so much for that. And I hope to see you all in the next lesson.
All right. Bye-bye.